Whew. All right. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit winded. I've had stuff happen to me today. Well, not today, but the past few days have been a bit laid up. My hurt myself. That's a other story. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So I know I told everyone that I'm out. Out of the fandom. I'm gone. No more. Um, so I am hearing good things about Dino Charge. So... I wish them best of luck. Um, I don't... Anyway. Um, so yeah, everyone's doing comments on the fan film. I should stop touching that. I got a new desk. You can't see it, but it's a new desk. Um, I got a... Yeah, everyone has an opinion about the fan film, and that's all dark and gritty, you know, and I guess it was indie Hollywood produced or something, that's what I've heard. I, I No, I have not done my homework because I don't really... Sorry about that. Need to stop touching the desk. New desk. So working out how it works. Okay, there. Sorry. Yeah, and I have no chair, so I'll just sit. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway. So, yeah. I have not done my homework. Uh, I only know that Dawson's in it. Who plays Rocky, I believe. And... Uh, like Austin uh, St. John... Original Red Ranger. Hey. Um. Yeah. Uh. Professionally, yes. It is a very well done mini short. Like the. What do you call it? The. Uh. Uh. Deadpool. Uh. Short. You know. The production. Sounded like. You know. What would it look. Like, production problems like this. Like, I need a proper chair and frame this thing properly. Anyway. There. Here. Here. Here's good. <sighs> anyway. So, it has production quality. This is, like, what the movie would look like if we... Uh, the stylistics. The quality of... Well, virtual set. Um, type of characters we're going to have. Etc. So, it's like a dry run. A mini dry run. To see what it's going to look like. And it's like that. So, yeah, it looks good as a production, but it goes to a really dark place. And I'm like, okay, that's a bit much even for me as an adult. Like, yeah, I, I sat through Kill Bill the first time. I cringed. And interestingly enough, a few seats down from me to my left was my old welding coach from college. And he was there with his wife, and his wife couldn't take it. And she says, if you need me, I'll be in the lobby. And I was not very far behind her, honestly. You know, I was not prepared for the for the gore in the House of Blue Leaves, I believe, or where this big epic bloodbath took place. But you know, it's still one of my favorite films. It is really good. I love it. You know, it's just the story, the characters, the drama, everything. Even the cliffhanger was good. It was better than any other cliffhanger I've seen between films and any other film other than maybe Star Wars between Empire and uh, Return. Maybe that one, but that's not as dramatic-ish. But anyway, the point is, is that the fan film did its job of being uh, a mini film. You know, it's, it's test footage. It's to test the waters. You know, it did its job well professionally. And as a professional, yeah, good quality. It took the franchise of a childish children's show, took it to an adult place with more money, and I can't say better actors, because uh, I can't say better actors, but it was very well acted. Everyone felt, you know, these characters felt real. I'm not really into the greedy characters or hard-boiled characters or wherever they were. Uh, I guess hopeless, I guess, worn out, burned out, something, you know, I, I'm not a fan of those character types, but the acting of these character types was acted very well. Uh, yeah, but it just went to a really further dark place than I ever 
liked these characters to go. Uh, the, uh, the 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 adult themes were shows like there's having shell shock uh, from I guess like a decade long battle. The battle's bigger than they thought. They're kind of getting kind of burnt out as adults. It's not. It's like Steve, like uh, was it Greg Universe said? There's no such thing as a good war, kiddo. And it's like yeah, that's kind of true. You know these guys fight. And, you know, if it goes on for a while, that's why you, you, every couple of years you have to have, like, new rangers come in, especially back then, because you can't keep, you can't keep this up for, for years and years and years. you got to go off and have a life. So, yeah, showing this and how it just kept on going, if they didn't change hands back then and kind of just kept going, like, this would kind of logically be the outcome of that, that they would be burnt out. They would quit under protest of some very supportive mothers. That's why various of them left. And some died. Oh, and uh, FYI, yes, some of them actually did die in the Sentai universe, but they mysteriously came back for the anniversary of the 199 Great Hero Battle, which I highly support, by the way. That's better than the season finale of PR Super Mega Force, which is we will not talk about here. Anyway... So, yes, professionally, it did its job. Personally, it just went a bit too far for me. That's what turned out a lot of people off about it. It just went a little, little too far. Uh, I hear that there's another independent film being made by a collection of rangers. Uh, that sounds interesting. Uh, so, I guess... That'd be something to look forward to, if, and they're trying to get uh, uh, donations for that. I'm going to donate to that in the, in, the near, in the near future, and I hope you do too. Oof, what else was there? Uh, I don't understand is why... Okay, just back up. Just, just, okay. just back up a bit to the Legendary War. Now, the Sentai was called 199 Great Heroes Battle between the Angel Rangers, Ghost Age Rangers, and the Pirate Rangers. You know, they kind of had their differences and blah, 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 this big old epic thing. And I don't understand, why not just make that the movie? I mean, it's a movie. So just bring that over, do the footage like you're supposed to, like for an episode, and then just put that in theaters. I mean... That would be epic. And actually have them change, have it be two different ranger teams, that would be nice. You know, that would have worked. That would work perfectly. Uh, you know, I would have gone in theaters and seen it, you know. But they didn't, so that's a lost opportunity. Of course, what do I know? <laughs> I'm a Z list internet reviewer and PR parody maker. So. But yeah, those are my opinion, those are my facts. If you agree with them, fine. If you don't agree with them, fine as well. Please leave comments down below, and I will be uh, more than happy to uh, read them. And that's about it. So, to all you out there in PR Universe, take care, and uh, as Database says, may the power protect you. Bye.